First of all, the, we distinguish among various different works attributed to the third person of the Trinity. For example, regeneration is so vitally important, and it's the Holy Spirit who is uh, the one who changes the disposition of our hearts. And anyone who was a believer in the Old Testament had to be regenerate before they would be believer, a believer. And so anyone who was regenerate in the Old Testament was obviously uh, experienced the work uh, of God, the Holy Spirit, in changing the disposition of their soul. Soul. And and then you also talk about ways in which the Holy Spirit was uh, w- was filling people. Well, the first people that we read about being filled by the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament, strangely enough, were those whom God called to be artisans for the construction of the tabernacle. They were gifted by God the Holy Spirit in order to fulfill that particular task. And also you see that uh, other offices and operations of the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament uh, saints included a particular charismatic anointment or uh, uh, empowering, like uh, the prophets who the Holy Spirit came upon them and kings were anointed by the Holy Spirit. And uh, you go back to... uh, uh, the book of Numbers, and and you see where uh, Jethro, the father-in-law of uh, Moses, uh, rebuked Moses for doing too many things by himself, and he was led by the Lord to instruct Moses. He says, gather 70 of the people that you know were elders among the people, bring them to yourself, and I will take of the spirit that is upon you and distribute it among the 70s, and that's recorded there in the Old Testament. And so that the uh, the multiplication of the empowering of uh, Moses was given. And at that time, when, when uh, J- Joshua raised up a question about it, he said, uh, uh, Moses, uh, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. Please forbid them. And Moses replied, envious thou for my sake, uh, Joshua, would that all of God's people would be prophets and he would pour his spirit out upon them. And that prayer of Moses later became a prophecy uh, in the, in, by Joel that at the, in the latter days, God would pour out his spirit upon all believers. And that's the significance, I think, of what took place at Pentecost, where Pentecost saw, saw that the taking of the spirit of Christ and distributed him not just for 70 people to empower them for ministry, but to the whole Christian community. All believers received the Holy Ghost and in being empowered. Now, I know that not everybody believes that aspect, as we've seen all kinds of controversies about the world and and the person of the Holy Spirit in our day. One of the best studies you can ever get is that study that was given by Sinclair Ferguson on the personal work of the Holy Spirit. So I commend that to you.